Yo, yo, Shawnee Culture here, Hot 97, you know what it is? Look, I can't even, it's too much dirt around. You see all this dirt? Look at this dirt, look at these mountains of dirt. We at the groundbreaking ceremony for Hot 97, actually not for Hot 97, for the Universal Hip Hop Museum. Meaning, they are getting tons of donations so that they can actually build up an amazing museum. Now, we know and some of the speakers have spoken, we, we got people in here like Fat Joe, LL Cool J, Nas, uh, Dave East, Chuck D from Public Enemy, EPMD, Naughty by Nature, um, uh, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. It's just icons and icons and legends and legends up in here. Um, but one of them stated, uh, I think it was Ruben Perez or Ruben Diaz, the ball president, I'm tired of seeing our rappers inducted into the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Where's our hip hop space? You know what I'm saying? And that's what this is. So this is the Universal Hip Hop Museum. This is where our artifacts will live. This is where our history will live in the South Bronx, where hip hop was created in New York City. You know what I'm saying? So we're here to celebrate it. The construction is here. The money has come. And now we're going to have a building where we can come to that is for us, by us. You dig? Hot 97 Shiny Culture. We rep it. I'm going to run up on some people. Would make those songs, I would literally disappear in the vinyl, you know what I'm saying? My world would change, my life would change. So I just say that, you know, truly grateful, I am truly grateful to be, you know, a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee as Flash is and as Chuck D is. Yes, yes. But I must say, you know, it's hip hop first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this culture, our culture, you know, is super important. Oh yeah, yeah, yo, Mike check one two, yo, MC's out there, you better stand clear. Your PMD is a world premiere from New York Straight Talk, America's best, Kawhi okay. Long Island's where P rests. So yeah, so back to the breaking ground. It's gonna take about 10 minutes to level that. We should have the building up in about an hour. In about an hour? In about an hour. And so now with hip hop, you know what I'm saying, I was trying to find out, you think they're gonna have a smoking section or like, you know what I'm saying, well, like, what kind of food is going to be in the in the museum? Like, what should we be looking forward to? Like, what, what are your thoughts? Well, naturally, I would go with the soul food. Some soul food. You know food, what I mean? But it's going to be a multi conglomerate. Yeah, the ribs. Classic hip hop food. Some chitlins, some, some chitlins, chitlins, some collard greens, right, right. some sweet potato pie, some, some yams. Potato yo, <laughs> keep it in the stack. All right. But it's going to be so multicultural that every country will be able to have their own food in their special dish. Ah, ah, you know what I mean? Food, and then for the Bob like Marley. Then you have the green room for the strange and the different mm. side to the right. So it's gonna be real hip hop. Yo, boom, all day, any day. You know that, son. <laughs> Yo, PMD. Yes. E PMD. No doubt. It's a great day. The hip hop universe from here, groundbreaking. All right. We got the icon, legend, Chuck D, public enemy in the building. What you feel about this whole hip hop? I'm gonna ask you a question. When you come into in New York, right, especially Manhattan, how many buildings do you see? Do you, know you can't anything? even count. Do you know anything about those buildings? No, Empire so, State Building, maybe one, and I don't even know the roof. There you go. So the, the, the fact that we're, we're talking about the building of a building that, you know, will mean so much to so many, this also comes out of the fact that the, the culture has meant so much to so many. So a lot of the talk was what hip hop has given the world. This is just reclaiming the steering wheel and, and hoping to do some good things with some good, you know, with a great culture. Yeah, I love So what do you think, in terms, if you had a vision to create your own room in the spot, like, you, what kind of rooms you want to see in this space? I, I mean, know, we that's heard that's somebody say so, like a weed room. You gotta have a munchie room. Cafeteria gotta have some soul food. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see what you want to see in there. You, I don't know. That that that's a little bit complex for a short interview. But I would tell you that you want people to leave better than how they came in. Say no more. Say no more. It's not being built from outside of hip hop, and that to me is very special because we understand what this culture represents to Fat Joe and to the borough president and to everyone who loves this culture. Yeah. And, and as Ruben said, we're preserving and celebrating all of the five elements of hip hop. I got the man of the hour, the Don Dada with the vision, Rocky. Tell me how you feel right now. Congratulations oh, on this whole man. move. We at the groundbreaking ceremony for the Universal Hip Hop Museum. Ten, ten, ten years in the making, Shani. I've seen yeah. a lot of it, or some of it, from the outside, but I've been close. Yeah, you've been and close. And I know the, close. um... It took, it took, you know, a little effort, mm -hmm. you know, but nothing comes uh, without some hard work. Right. 
right, and right. To, to see all our sacrifice and all of our work to basically roll into this day, mm -hmm. which is to me hip hop's most historic day, mm -hmm. to have a permanent home, to preserve and celebrate hip hop history from the past and the present. Mm -hmm. You can't ask, for, and, and the weather was beautiful today. Right? The weather's perfect. It's an amazing day for hip hop. Mm -hmm. and, and all of the people that came through and to be doing this in the Bronx, like how important was it for you to do this in the South Bronx where hip hop was created? Well, like, I, I'm born speak and on that. I'm born and raised in the Bronx. I started with when hip hop wasn't even a thing as a DJ. So, you know, I couldn't have built a, a museum for hip hop anywhere else. Anywhere else other than the South Bronx would be sacrilegious. Many people told me the style is too different. It is kind of different, but let's be specific. KRS-1 specialized in music. I only use this type of style when I choose it. How important is this? This is the most important thing that we can do. Why? Because this is the way that we preserve the culture. Speak on it. And, shiny and, and you know, so, yep, so many times we see <laughs> shiny culture, yeah. And, it, and this is why I respect the Hot 97. And the fact that um, we see too many people make too much money all for the culture and don't even represent it well. Mm -hmm. So we're in the Bronx. I'm sick and tired of people being inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Doing that. I was just quoting you, you know, and saying so, that because it's such a good point. Yeah, yeah and um, you know, hip hop raised me. It raised so many of us, uh, it, you know, and it's matured. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate that you look at other genres of music that are secondary to hip hop now, and they have their own Hall of Fame, they have their own museum. It's time that we have our very own, and this is not gonna be a storefront. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be over 50,000 square feet, celebrating the five elements of hip hop, mm -hmm. and ultimately immortalizing mm -hmm. the giants of hip hop it, at every level, whether it's the rapper, the DJ, the, uh, the producer, radio. You know, imagine, Shani, every year, Having an event here on the grounds because this is gonna be this is two point yeah. two point eight acres of, of grounds. So you're gonna have affordable housing, but you're gonna have sixty and it's condo. This is not rental. Mm -hmm. The hip hop museum is gonna be condo, mm -hmm. meaning means that they own it. So imagine now having a celebration here where you can induct, you know, Run DMC, mm -hmm. where you you know where you and can you know and, 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 and performing mm -hmm. outdoors here. And, and, and just like they do with the Baseball Hall yeah. of Fame in Cooperstown and others. So that's what we want here. We want it to be a global destination. We want it to be an economic engine. We want- And how much do you want to be a part of this? Because I'm here just saying we. How much are you like? So I'm, I'm, I'm retiring. Okay, okay. I'm no longer going to be the bar president, but you saw me drop some M's here I today. I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. You saw that. <laughs> yo, he dropped the bag on the museum like, yo. And that's just, a, that, hours, that's just a cardboard, but it's going to take more. Hey, look, basically, Hip Hop Museum, I'm out. There's a lot of work to do. Y'all see it's not done, but there's a lot of work to be done. I got my man Tameek. Tameek, what's good? Oh. I see you got a hard hat. Um, can I, you know what I'm saying? They oh. said if I want, if you want the job done, you got to do it yourself. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You know the words. So <laughs> I'ma just, I'ma carry on, y'all. I'ma do my thing. You, you want to go, you should go shovel I'm, go shovel I'ma go shovel some dirt, bro. Shovel you know what I'm saying? I'ma, I'ma try to clean it up. You know what I'm saying? I'ma I'm, I'm see y'all later, all right? Hi 97, this is culture, you know what I'm saying?